Austronesian Peoples, Wikipedia Article Audio The Austronesian-speaking people are various distinct language groups in Southeast Asia, Oceania, and East Africa that speak languages stemming from the Austronesian family. They include Taiwanese Aborigines, the majority of ethnic groups in the Philippines, Malaysia, East Timor, Indonesia, Brunei, Cocos Islands, Madagascar, Micronesia, and Polynesia, as well as the Malay people of Singapore, the Polynesian peoples of New Zealand and Hawaii, and the non-Papuan people of Melanesia. All of these people can be connected to the Austronesian language family group. They are also found in the regions of the southern Thailand, the Cham areas in Vietnam and Cambodia, and the Hainan region of China, parts of Sri Lanka, southern Myanmar, southern tip of South Africa, Suriname, and some of the Andaman Islands. On top of that, Austronesian diaspora also can be found in the United States of America, the Netherlands, United Kingdom, Hong Kong, as well as West Asian countries. The people of the Maldives also possess traces of Austronesian genes via gene flow from the Malay archipelago. The territories populated by Austronesian-speaking peoples are known collectively as Austronesia. Austronesian is a language family, not a culture or a group of people. If you want to refer to a person then the correct term which should be used is Austronesian speaker. Since Austronesian is a language family and not a race of people, they should be referred to as speakers. Archaeological evidence demonstrates a technological connection between the farming cultures of the South, meaning Southeast Asia and Melanesia, and sites that are first known from mainland China whereas a combination of archaeological and linguistic evidence has been interpreted as supporting a northern origin for the Austronesian language family in mainland southern China and Taiwan. Prehistory and History Migration and Dispersion It is theoretically possible that a few thousand years before the southward expansion of the Han Dynasty and of Vietnam, Austronesian speakers spread down the coast of southern China past Taiwan as far as the In time, the spread of other language groups such as Austroasiatic, Taikade, Mongmin, and Sino-Tibetan led to the assimilation and eventual Sinicization of all Austronesian-speaking populations that remained on the mainland. In a recent treatment, all Austronesian languages were classified into ten subfamilies, with all the extra Formosan languages grouped in one subfamily and with representatives of the remaining nine known only in Taiwan. It has been argued that these patterns are best explained by dispersal of an agricultural people from Taiwan into insular Southeast Asia, Melanesia, and, ultimately, the remote Pacific. Although this model termed the express train to Polynesia is broadly consistent with available data, concerns have been raised. Alternatives to this model posit an indigenous origin for the Austronesian languages in Melanesia or Southeast Asia. Genetic analyses suggest that the Austronesian people in Southeast Asia had spread over Sund Island and evolved in situ over the last 35,000 years. Nevertheless, in 2016, DNA analysis carried out found that one of the genetic markers used in the study but not the others supports a small-scale out-of-Taiwan hypothesis. The studies suggest that only a small fraction of the Taiwan genetic lineages are found among the people of Southeast Asia, and it is argued that these movements of people from Taiwan, while smaller in scale, had a strong impact on culture and language the people. Genomic analysis of cultivated coconut has shed light on the movements of Austronesian peoples. By examining 10 microsatellite loci, researchers found that there are two genetically distinct subpopulations of coconut one originating in the Indian Ocean, 
the other in the Pacific Ocean. However, there is evidence of admixture, the transfer of genetic material, between the two populations. Given that coconuts are ideally suited for ocean dispersal, it seems possible that individuals from one population could have floated to the other. However, the locations of the admixture events are limited to Madagascar and coastal East Africa and exclude the Seychelles. Sailing west from maritime Southeast Asia in the Indian Ocean, the Austronesian peoples reached Madagascar by ca. 5500 AD, and reached other parts thereafter. This forms a pattern that coincides with the known trade routes of Austronesian sailors. Additionally, there is a genetically distinct subpopulation of coconut on the eastern coast of South America which has undergone a genetic bottleneck resulting from a founder effect, however, its ancestral population is the Pacific coconut, which suggests that Austronesian peoples may have sailed as far east as the Americas. An element in the ancestry of Austronesian-speaking peoples, the one which carried their ancestral language, originated on the island of Taiwan. This occurred after the migration of pre-Austronesian-speaking peoples from continental Asia between approximately 10,0006,000 BC. Other research has suggested that, according to radiocarbon dates, Austronesians may have migrated from mainland China to Taiwan as late as 4000 BC. Before Taiwan, Austronesian speakers are thought to have been descended from the Neolithic cultures of southeastern China, such as the Himudu culture or the Liangzhu culture. According to the mainstream out of Taiwan model, a large-scale Austronesian expansion began around 5,500 BC. Population growth primarily fueled this migration. These first settlers may have landed in northern Luzon in the archipelago of the Philippines, intermingling with the earlier Australo-Melanesian population who had inhabited the islands since about 23,000 years earlier. Over the next thousand years, Austronesian peoples migrated southeast to the rest of the Philippines, and into the islands of the Celebes Sea, Borneo, and Indonesia. The Austronesian peoples of maritime Southeast Asia sailed eastward, and spread to the islands of Melanesia and Micronesia between 1200 BC and 500 AD respectively. The Austronesian inhabitants that spread westward through maritime Southeast Asia had reached some parts of mainland Southeast Asia, and later on Madagascar. Out of Taiwan Model Sailing from Melanesia, and Micronesia, the Austronesian peoples discovered Polynesia by 1000 BC. These people settled most of the Pacific Islands. They had settled Rapa Nui by 300 AD, Hawaii by 400 AD, and into New Zealand by about 1280 AD. There is evidence, based in the spreading of the sweet potato, that they reached South America where they traded with the Native Americans. In the Indian Ocean they sailed west from maritime Southeast Asia, the Austronesian peoples reached Madagascar by ca. 5500 AD. Southeast Asian Origin Model This out of Taiwan model has been recently challenged by a 2008 study. Examination of mitochondrial DNA lineages shows that they have been evolving within island Southeast Asia for a longer period than previously believed. Population dispersals occurred at the same time as sea levels rose, which may have resulted in migrations to the Philippines as far north as Taiwan within the last 10,000 years. The population migrations were most likely to have been driven by climate change the effects of the drowning of a huge ancient subcontinent called Sund Island. This happened during the period 15,000 to 7,000 years ago following the last ice age. 
Rising sea levels and three massive pulses caused flooding and the partial submergence of the Sunda subcontinent, creating the Java and South China Seas and the thousands of islands that make up Indonesia and the Philippines today. The researchers however later found genetic evidence indicating that movements of people from Taiwan to the islands of Southeast Asia did occur but they were smaller in scale which nevertheless brought about much larger linguistic and cultural changes. Findings from Hugo in 2009 also show that Asia was populated primarily through a single migration event out of Africa whereby an early population first entered Southeast Asia before they moved northwards to East Asia. They found genetic similarities between populations throughout Asia and an increase in genetic diversity from northern to southern latitudes. Although the Chinese population is very large, it has less variation than the smaller number of individuals living in Southeast Asia, because the Chinese expansion occurred very recently, following the development of rice agriculture within only the last 10,000 years. By the beginning of the first millennium CE, most of the Austronesian inhabitants in maritime Southeast Asia began trading with India and China. The adoption of Hindu statecraft model allowed the creation of Indianized kingdoms such as Taramanagara, Kampa, Lankashuka, Meleu, Srivahia, Madang Mataram, Majapahit, and Bali. Between the 5th to 15th century Hinduism and Buddhism were established as the main religion in the region. Formation of Tribes and Kingdoms Muslim traders from the Arabian Peninsula were thought to have brought Islam by the 10th century. Islam was established as the dominant religion in the Indonesian archipelago by the 16th century. The Austronesian inhabitants of Polynesia were unaffected by this cultural trade, and retained their indigenous culture in the Pacific region. Geographic Distribution Kingdom of Larantuka in Flores, East Nusa Tenggara was the only Christian indigenous kingdom in Indonesia and in Southeast Asia, with the first king named Lorenzo. Culture Western Europeans in search of spices and gold later colonized most of the Austronesian-speaking countries of the Asia-Pacific region, beginning from the 16th century with the Portuguese and Spanish colonization of some parts of Indonesia, the Philippines, Palau, Guam, and the Mariana Islands, the Dutch colonization of the Indonesian archipelago, the British colonization of Malaysia and Oceania, the French colonization of French Polynesia, and later, the American governance of the Pacific. Meanwhile, the British, Germans, French, Americans, and Japanese began establishing spheres of influence within the Pacific Islands during the 19th and early 20th centuries. The Japanese later invaded most of Southeast Asia and some parts of the Pacific during World War II. The latter half of the 20th century initiated independence of modern-day Malaysia, the Philippines, Indonesia, and many of the Pacific Island nations. Writing Austronesian peoples consist of the following groupings by name and geographic location. According to a recent studies by Stanford University, there is wide variety of paternal ancestry among the Austronesian people, aside from European introgression found in maritime Southeast Asia, Oceania, and Madagascar. They constitute the dominant ethnic group in the Malay Peninsula, maritime Southeast Asia, Melanesia, Micronesia, Polynesia, and Madagascar. An estimated 380 million people living in these regions are of Austronesian descent. The peoples constitute the dominant ethnic groups in Malaysia, Indonesia, Brunei, the Philippines, the southernmost part of Thailand and East Timor, which together with Singapore. Outside this area, they inhabit Palau, Guam, and the northern Marianas, most of Madagascar 
the Cham areas of Vietnam and Cambodia, and all countries in the Micronesian and Polynesian sphere of influence. The native culture of Austronesia varies from region to region. The early Austronesian peoples considered the sea as the basic feature of their life. Following their diaspora to Southeast Asia and Oceania, they migrated by boat to other islands. Boats of different sizes and shapes have been found in every Austronesian culture, from Madagascar, maritime Southeast Asia, to Polynesia, and have different names. In Southeast Asia, head hunting was restricted to the highlands as a result of warfare. Mummification is only found among the highland Austronesian Filipinos, and in some Indonesian groups in Celebes and Borneo. With the possible exception of Rongo Rongo on Easter Island, writing among pre-modern Austronesians was limited to the Indianized states and the sultanates of maritime Southeast Asia. These systems included abugidas from the Brahmic family, such as Bibayan, the Javanese script, and Old Kawi, and abjads derived from the Arabic script such as JY. Arts since the 20th century, new scripts were mostly alphabets adapted from the Latin alphabet, as in the Hawaiian alphabet, Filipino alphabet, and Malay alphabet. However, several Formosan languages are written in Zuyan, and CIA CIA of Sulawesi has experimented with Hangul. Religion Body art among Austronesian peoples is common especially elaborate tattooing which has ancient origins. It is particularly prominent in Polynesian cultures, from where the word tattoo derives. But tattooing is also prominent among Austronesian groups in Taiwan, the Philippines, Indonesia, and Malaysia. Formosan, Taiwan E.g. Amos, Atayal, Banun, Paiwan Malayo-Polynesian, Borneo groups, e.g. Katazan Dusun, Murat, Ibn, Bideu, Dayak, Lunbawang slash Lundaya, Chamak group, Cambodia, Hainan, Cham areas of Vietnam as well as Asa in northern Sumatra. E.g. Asenas, Kams, Jirai, Utsals, Central Luzon group, Kapampangan, Pongasinan, Sambal, Igorot, Cordilleras. E.g. Balangayo, Ibaloi, Ifyajayo, Itnig, Kankanet, Lumad, Mindanao. E.g. Kameo, Manobo, Tazade, Tiboli, Malagasy, Madagascar. E.g. Betsilio, Marina, Sakalava. Simihedi, Melanesians, Melanesia. Fijians, e.g. Kanak, and Ivanuatu, Solomon Islands, Micronesians, Micronesia. e.g. Carolinian, Chamorros, Palauan, Mokan, Burma, Thailand, Moro, Bangsamoro. e.g. Megan Danao, Marineo, Tazuk. Sama Bejao, Northern Luzon Lowlanders, e.g. Ilocano, Ibanag, Itas, Polynesians, Polynesia. Mori, Native Hawaiians, Samoans, Southern Luzon Lowlanders, e.g. Tagalog, Baikalano, Sunda Sulawesi language and ethnic groups including Malay, Sundanese, Javanese, Balinese. Bataknas Islands parts of Sri Lanka, southern Myanmar, and much of western and central Indonesia. Visayans, Visayas. E.g. Aklanon, Boholano, Sabuano, Hiligonon, Masbatano, Warai. Among the Mori of New Zealand, tattoos were originally carved into the skin using bone chisels rather than through puncturing as in usual practice. In addition to being pigmented, 
the skin was also left raised into ridges of swirling patterns. In the Philippines, the Spanish called the Filipinos they first encountered in the Visayas as the Pintados, due to their practice of tattooing their entire bodies. Tattooing traditions were mostly lost as the natives of the islands converted to Christianity and Islam, though they were still practiced in isolated groups in the highlands of Luzon and Mindanao. Philippine tattoos were usually geometric patterns or stylized depictions of animals, plants, and human figures. Some of the few remaining traditional tattoos in the Philippines are from elders of the Igorot peoples. Most of these were records of war exploits against the Japanese during World War II. 1. The Sunda or Malay group consisting of most people in the Philippines, Indonesia, Malaysia, Madagascar, and historically Asia and mainland. 2. The Taiwanese Polynesian group consisting of most people in Taiwan, Northern Philippines, Polynesia, Micronesians and historically Southern China. Decorated jars and other forms of pottery are also common with patterns often resembling those used in tattoos. Austronesian peoples living close to mainland Asia were also influenced by Chinese, Indian, and Arabic art forms. Music Genetic Studies Notes Indigenous religions were initially predominant. Mythologies vary by culture and geographical location but are generally bound by the belief in an all-powerful divinity. Other beliefs such as ancestor worship, animism, and shamanism are also practiced. Currently, many of these beliefs have gradually been replaced. Examples of native religions include, Anato, Gaba, Sunda Wivatan, Kajaan, and the Mori religion. The Moai of the Rapa Nui is another example since they are built to represent deceased ancestors. Southeast Asian contact with India and China allowed the introduction of Hinduism and Buddhism. Later, Muslim traders introduced the Islamic faith between the periods of the 10th and 13th century. The European Age of Discovery brought Christianity to various parts of the region including both New Zealand and Australia. Currently, the dominant religions are Christianity in the Philippines, much of eastern Indonesia, some parts of Indonesian Sumatra and Borneo, East Timor, Papua New Guinea, Singapore, most of the Pacific Islands, and Madagascar, Islam found in Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, southern Thailand, the southern Philippines and Brunei, Hinduism in Singapore, Bali, some parts of Indonesian Lombok and Java, and some other Indonesian islands. There is also a tiny population in Manado on the island of Sulawesi who professed Judaism, most of whom either have Jewish ancestry who later mixed with the indigenous Minahasans or converts. The Austronesian music in maritime Southeast Asia had a mixture of Chinese, Indian, and Arabic musical styles and sounds that had fused together with the indigenous Austronesian culture and music. In Indonesia, gamelan, a type of orchestra that incorporates xylophone and metallophone elements, is widely used in its Hindu, Buddhist, and Islamic cultural tradition. In some parts of the southern and northern Philippines, an Arabic gong drum known as kolintang, and a gong chime known as gangsa, is also used. The Austronesian music of Oceania have retained their indigenous Austronesian sounds. The slit drums is an indigenous Austronesian musical instrument that were invented and used by the Southeast Asian Austronesian and Oceanic Austronesian ethnic groups. Genetic studies have been done on the people and related groups. 
The haplogroup A1AM119 genetic marker is frequently detected in native Taiwanese, northern Philippines, and Polynesians, as well as some people in Indonesia and non-Austronesian populations in southern China. A 2007 analysis of the DNA recovered from human remains in archaeological sites of prehistoric peoples along the Yangtze River in China also shows high frequencies of haplogroup A1 in the Neolithic Liangzhou culture, linking them to Austronesian and Taikade peoples. The Liangzhou culture existed in coastal areas around the mouth of the Yangtze. Haplogroup A1 was absent in other archaeological sites inland. The authors of the study suggest that this may be evidence of two different human migration routes during the peopling of Eastern Asia, one coastal and the other inland, with little genetic flow between them. Mitochondrial DNA analysis in 2008 suggests that the populations in the islands of Southeast Asia may have evolved in situ over the last 35,000 years, that they had already established themselves in the region before the Neolithic period, long before the Taiwanese people were proposed to have moved out of Taiwan into the region. Nevertheless, in 2016, DNA analysis carried out found that one of the genetic markers used in the study, haplogroup M7C3C, supports the out-of-Taiwan hypothesis, although not from the other genetic markers. Results from these studies suggest that there were movements of Neolithic people from Taiwan to the islands of Southeast Asia around 4,000 years ago, but they were small-scale affairs with greater impact in the Philippines. The fractions of Taiwanese Neolithic lineages present in the people of the islands of Southeast Asia today are estimated to range from 28% in the Philippines to 13.6% in Western Indonesia and 10.3% in Kalimantan. The authors argue that the cultural impact on the people was due to small-scale interactions and waves of acculturation and that the Taiwanese migrants despite being smaller in numbers had a strong influence on the culture and language of the people as they were seen as an elite or associated with a new religion or philosophy. Some researchers have proposed a more complex pattern of settlement and dispersal, where the Austronesians were dispersed from mainland Southeast Asia via two routes, a northern route through Taiwan before they moved further down to the Southeast Asian islands, and a southern route through western Indonesia. Others have also found genetic links between the ancestors of Austronesians and people of North and South China. The Austronesian-speaking people can now be grouped into two genetically close groups. Africa Books Asia Europe North America Oceania South America